my name is Doug Doms, and I'm the executive pastor here at Movement Church, Tip City, Ohio. And this is the Wednesday shift. Today, <laughs> no, no, no. no, it's not. This is the morning momentum. The morning momentum. And I'm Ethan. And I'm Richie. And uh, it's April Fool's April Day! April Fool's. April Fool's. We totally had you, I could tell. Got it. I know you were like, well, wait a minute. Who's wait, Doug Doms? Wait a minute. Executive What's going pastor. on? Oh, my goodness. We're very clever. It was good. It, it was, was pretty good. good. Uh, so it's definitely April Fool's. And uh, be honest with you, Ohio was one day short of uh, a great April Fool's joke for everybody. Going from yeah. 73 down in the 40s, buddy. That was an April Fool's joke like no other. They got us going. <laughs> it's like one day of golf, not anymore. I feel like you can't really, I feel like, and this might just maybe, but I don't think the weather can pull April Fool's jokes as much with the <laughs> forecasts we have today. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it can't. Hey, uh, Ethan, I've got to ask, man, is there any other national holidays besides the fact that it's April Fool's Day? There's a lot of holidays today. On April 1st? Uh, yeah. I thought I might go through them. We could just kind of see how it feels, you know, let's, talk about them a little bit. Yeah. I did want to say this is, of course, April Fool's is number one. Hey, I need to give a shout out real quick. Go ahead. I got to give a shout out to Ethan and Noah. Uh, so they are a couple of junior high students. Mm-hmm. And uh, Noah called me out the other day. And he said, he said this, he said, hey, you really didn't tell the guy about his pants being unbuttoned? <laughs> what's up, e? Like, what's up, Noah? Like, come on now. Calling you out. Uh, I asked him, I said, would you have told him? He said, yeah. I said, he's across the room. He goes, so? So, <laughs> Noah's better than I am. Apparently. That's funny. <laughs> he was like, hey, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? <laughs> yeah, April Fool's Day. This this is the uh, description. Mischief makers have the chance to trick unsuspecting people for the opportunity to yell, April Fool's. April Fool's. Mischief makers. If that's you, today's your day. Hey, uh, did you ever not do your homework and then when your teacher asked, you're like, April Fool's. <laughs> no, I... My mom was a teacher. Oh. And so you can't really get away with that kind of stuff. Yeah, you can't get away with When that's your anything. situation. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. But today, this is this is a nice idea. I'm not sure how nice it'd be today, but it's walk to work day. April Fool's. <laughs> no, it's not April Fool's. It's actually walk to work day. Walk Experience work the wonders day. of walking as we walk you through some amazing one. Well, we're not going to click it, but. This one was written for Florida, not Ohio. And also non-commuters to work, <laughs> yeah. like far commuters, you know. <laughs> yeah, hey, why don't you uh, walk to work, Ethan? <laughs> Let us know how that I'll one goes pass. for you. I'll give a couple more here because okay. they're humorous. Edible book day. What? That's what it says, and I've never eaten a book. So. Is there a description? Prepare your appetite for today. We feast on books and their words. I have no idea, but picture of a person eating a book. I'm not sure if it's something people do. I'll be honest with you. I kind of wish they'd put, like, the person that created this holiday, like, next to it so we can find them and... Uh, Punish them. <laughs> reach out to them. <laughs> <laughs> I like this one. It's a, it's a clever play on words and also just a good holiday. It's Fossil Fool's Day. Like, April Fool's, but Fossil Fool's, like a fossil fuels. Mm. It's uh, doing something good for the environment. It was definitely a geologist that did that one. Probably not a geologist. You don't maybe think so? an environmental scientist. You don't think it was a geo? No. Geo Jack? So you think it was what? Environmental, environmental science, guy? yeah. Okay. Fossil fools. But this one I like. All right. This one I do like. International Fun at Work Day. Yeah, let's it's go. International Fun at Work Day. Bring your best games and strategies to have some fun with your colleagues. It's a Friday. It's April Fool's Day. I would say that Michael Scott took that one to heart every day. Every day of the week? Every day of the week. The conversation was always like, would you want to work in that office? And I think people who like the show are always like, yeah. But I feel like if I actually worked there, there'd be a point where I think it'd, it'd actually be like, maybe annoying. I could see you being kind of like Stanley, where you just kind of sit mm-hmm. back. Mm-hmm. Do my crossword. And do your crossword word and, and just kind of mind your own business. But, like, when the stakes are big, you're like, let's go! Yeah, like, that's true. But I also think they don't show the boring part of the job, which is selling paper. So that's what makes us think, yeah, I'd love to work there. But really, 
I don't know. Yeah, I'd go Stanley with you. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I think so. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm trying to think. Would, would you go Stanley, or what would you think for yourself? Um. Maybe. I don't know. I don't really know how I would. I don't think that you're a gem. I don't think that you would pick on Dwight all the time. I definitely don't think you're a Dwight. Nope. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Oscar's pretty much business. He just does the job. Yeah. Toby. (laughs) Toby gets a bad rap. I think maybe Creed. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> www.creedthoughts.gov backslash <laughs> something, something, something. Or uh, uh, who was that guy that got fired in like the third episode? I'd probably be him. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, I know who you're talking about. During the Halloween one? Yeah. Because yeah. it's like he had friends in the office, but he fell to the hands of Michael Scott he named feeling it, bad. He named everybody that could come. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That'd probably be me. That's funny. No, I, I don't know. I don't know. There was a lot of different people. Who would I be? Let's see what you would say. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> Everyone in that show has like just a very specific <laughs> personality. I don't know. Okay, all right. I, I mean, I was you're a definitely Dunder not Mifflin. Michael. I was a Dunder Mifflin employee for Halloween. Who were you? Just just Richie. Madge. <laughs> you were Madge. <laughs> Warehouse workers. Warehouse worker. I'd probably be one of them. I should wear that to church some week. I mean, like I just got to off preach work. In. Like you were coming from a job. I'd go for it. Your job. I could go for that. You could? Yeah. Maybe this week. See if you get anybody. Yeah, maybe this week. We'll see. You should try it. That'd be pretty solid. Mm-hmm. Um you know, maybe you were a warehouse worker. Maybe it wasn't Stanley for you. Hmm. I don't know. We'll have to think about it a little bit more. Hey, if you're listening uh, and, and you're an Office fan, uh, please go ahead. Let us know who you think we would be character-wise on The Office. Hmm. Yeah. I'd like to know what people think. What if somebody tells you that you're Angela? I'll take it as it is. What? Oh, man. <laughs> Come on. No it, way. That's what it is, man. Um, I can't argue. Anyways, we can move on from that. Um, hey, it's April Fool's Day. It is April Fool's Day. I gotta ask you, I think people might want to know, Ethan, are you a fooler? Are you gonna go out and are you, do you have anybody that you might try to pull an April Fool's joke on? No. No? No, I I never really, really got up into anything. I have a feeling you probably did. Just (laughs) since you, you pulled... Stuff not on April Fool's Day in school. I figured you probably had something up your sleeve on April Fool's Day. But I, maybe I just lack the confidence of thinking I can pull a prank off. I just never really did it. I don't know. But I feel like I can tell you have a couple stories. I've had some. I've had some. (laughs) Um, Yeah, um, there was one time that I was at school Mm-hmm. And I brought like one of the very large packs of hot dogs, and mm-hmm. I went around to all the cars that had antennas and put them on their antennas. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. Um, I, I did that once. Um, oh, oh, uh, this one was pretty good. This one was with my parents, and they were mad about it. So it has to be really good. Um, so they had a water bed. Mm-hmm. And it was not one of the water beds start. that was like a massive, like one big tub of water like mm-hmm. this, those. It was like individual, like tubes of water that mm-hmm. would go inside this mattress. So the mattress would open up, you take the top off, and it was like this box underneath. And then these tubes hmm. would lay in there. And the whole gist of it was that it was supposed to be so much better on your back. It had like an actual mattress over top of it, but like... I don't know. Maybe it took place at the box springs or something like that. Mm-hmm. Okay. But the mattress part was only a couple of inches thick. Well, I took those tubes out mm-hmm. and uh, hit them, remade the bed. And uh, that night when they tried to go to bed, <laughs> I heard, Richie! <laughs> <laughs> That's good, I guess. Um, <laughs> yeah. You were just, I don't know. I guess that's a, a good April Fool's prank. Come on, man. It's a great April Fool's. 
I had a I had a teacher. You hurt their backs when they went to bed. That was the I the prank. Hurt their backs. <laughs> it wasn't that big of a fall. So like, was it? <laughs> wait, 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 wait a minute. A fall. <laughs> well, you know, the mattress fell into the box spring part that the tubes didn't have the didn't tubes have in. Yeah. Oh, so the oh, okay. So it was just kind so of it was like just... the tubes held up a very thin mattress on the top. Yeah. That you laid on. Yeah. And they went to hop it, and they fell to the bottom of the bed. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> now I'm getting it. Yeah, so it was, it was right. good. It was good. Um, I, I had a teacher one time. This one was pretty so awesome. So many. Um, he, uh, it was in high school. And this guy did two different things on the same day. It was insane. Like, when you, got, when you can do this type of thing. So the first thing he did was he had this, like, figurine that always was inside of his cabinet, Mm -hmm. all right? So he had this, like, full-size cabinet that you could stand in. But he had this, like, figurine in it all year round. And I think the man literally had this so he could pull jokes on people because one day he dressed up just like the figurine. He put the clothes that were on the figurine on himself, and he stood in this cabinet. And class started, and he wasn't there. Mm -hmm. And he wasn't there. And he wasn't there. And all of a sudden, he jumps out of the closet. (laughs) And I thought some of the kids were gonna have heart attacks in there that day. <laughs> That's funny. So he did that, and then and then the other part of his joke, and this one was you could not do this anymore. Mm-hmm. Okay, um, we were in our dissection module okay. at this point, and uh, I don't know if you know this or not. Mm-hmm. The earthworms. Did you ever dissect the earthworm? We dissected frogs. Okay, we did the same thing, but our like opening was to Mm -hmm. dissect an earthworm and apparently if you squeeze them from the head to the backside uh they poop and he walked up to this girl and had the worm poop on her head it's good and uh yeah i don't know that you could get away with that anymore probably not it'd be ugly it was probably ugly then. It was very <laughs> ugly then. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't think it's anybody laughed. Gross. I think everybody was just like, uh, "That was really weird of you whoa, to do." <laughs> that was not good, my man. <laughs> they were like, <laughs> he was always pulling jokes though. He had a. We were doing the dissection thing, and you know he would always have them like already pre-set out on trays and stuff. Mm-hmm. And this one time, he opened up the backside of a frog and put a smaller frog inside of the other one. So he was always doing stuff like that. Like it was just. It they're was like, brutal. They're like, it's April 23rd. Why are you still doing this stuff? <laughs> like, the, they cut into it, and there was a little frog inside of it. It That's was funny. so bad. I um, remember one of my teachers in high school, they did, like, they were, like, pop quiz. And it was, like, really, but it was, like, a calculus class. So, so we were all, like, this is really bad. But it was April Fool's, yeah. and we were, like, nice. That but I feel funny. like if you're a teacher and you do that, you should at least, like, don't give them homework. Because the the amount of stress you put on them in that moment, I, I let agree them breathe for a little bit. Because uh, that was scary stuff when that <laughs> happened. <laughs> so how many how many questions was it? was it pretty brutal when you? I don't know if like uh, anything was ever handed out really. Because I think it was like close the door. I was like, all right, everyone, put everything on your desk. It's time for your quiz or your test. And we were like, we had a test today. Like everybody was like, uh. uh. And then started, and then it was like, no, I'm just kidding. We it had, was a good prank, though, for a teacher, I'd say. Yeah. We had the teacher that did the, uh, that did the uh, fake test thing. Like, she, she did the, hey, make sure you read all of the directions before you get started and mm-hmm. all that stuff. And I can't remember. It might have been April Fool's Day. But we did that <laughs> bit. And so you read all the directions. And so um, the directions just simply said, put your name on it, turn to the last page, and then put your head on your desk. Mm-hmm. And so, like, I read through it, put my name on it, dropped my head at the desk, and, like, I'm l- kind of looking around a little bit, and there were people just going nuts on their test. And I'm like, what's going on? And, like, I saw people looking at me, like, what's he doing? And there were a couple others that had their heads on their desks, but we got done with it. <laughs> and nice. We ended up getting bonus points because we got it right. Nobody failed the test, but, like, mm-hmm. uh but like we got bonus points. That's very cool. So, yeah, it was a lot of fun, man. Uh, talking about school. So, Ethan, uh, tell me real quick, what was your favorite class growing up in uh, in high school? Let's go high school. In high school. Interesting. Interesting. I mean, well, do you, you know, do you what? see where I'm going with this? We've been talking about memories. 
<laughs> What's your fondest <laughs> memory of high school? Your favorite class? My favorite class, I'll give you two because, well, definitely wasn't education classes, okay. any of them. Uh, I really enjoyed my art classes because it was just like, they'd always have music playing and it was just like really relaxed and fun. Um, but I mean like gym class, we had gym classes. We had a strength and conditioning class. So we just work out, but then sometimes there'd be free days and we'd like play games in the gym, like basketball and stuff. So, but we had in high school, <clears throat> our gym teacher, I'm not going to name any names, but they didn't do their job very well. They ended up getting fired at some point, Ouch. but we would just play basketball and stuff. So it was really fun because we just did whatever we wanted. That's awesome. Um, new gym teacher was cool though. He he let us have some. It was always like you have to do this, but you can do it when you're done. Like play basketball and stuff. Oh, that's cool. Okay. So gym was fun, but art was also a lot of fun. I never took gym in high school. I really? did the freshman year summer gym, mm -hmm. and that just like took care of all my gym credits. Yeah. And so I never had to do that, but um, it does like. You just, like, well, for me at least, I'd be super sweaty. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then you have to go to class and sit in those plastic chairs. Ugh. So I don't really know if it was worth it, but. Yeah, I'd, I'd say, like, my favorite class, um, I had two. One was educational, and I sucked at it. Like, I got, I think the highest grade I got in this class was a C. But it was, mm -hmm. like, one of, one of the best classes. And it was, do you want to take a guess? Chemistry. No. U.S. History. Really? And I think it was the teachers. Like, mm -hmm. they just did, uh, you know, we did, uh, they called them quiz mm -hmm. And they had a song <laughs> that would go along with the quiz Sounds like an awful class. And uh, every, every, uh, every question, it was five questions, mm -hmm. five-question quiz. It's called a quiz a And uh, they would do this song. They'd, they'd start with four, four, four points apiece, your mama, four, four. <laughs> and yeah. they just keep going on, and, and every time there'd be some other things to it, and... Uh, and so they would sing that song to you as you get ready for your quiz And uh, then you would also, you would, uh, so the class was structured where you would go into lecture, mm -hmm. large group, and then you would have your small groups. And uh, so in the small groups, that's where your quiz were. And uh, so you'd have homework that was due. Mm -hmm. And it was the best thing ever because if you didn't do your homework, they call it, they had PHs, public humiliation. Interesting. Did that happen to you a lot? Only a couple times. A couple times. You could end up getting stoned. So they had a stockade. Two meanings to that. There is. Uh, they had a We're stockade. We're talking biblical stone. Yep. And, and everybody would get to wild up paper and throw it at you. They'd put you in the stockade, and then people could stone you with paper. Um, Interesting. The funniest one. The funniest one. That's intense, honestly. It was awesome. Uh, the funniest one was this. Um, <laughs> they would give you a, uh, an American flag. Mm -hmm. and on the pole, and you'd have to go outside. And so we had one build, uh, one side of the building that was a lot of windows to the, all the classrooms, and you'd have to scream, the British are coming, the British are coming in. <laughs> That's funny. And I so, like that. so you would all like you'd be in another class, you'd be in math class, and all of a sudden you hear, "The British are coming! The British <laughs> are coming!" <laughs> and, and they'd come running down, and then running back. And your so. high school sounded fun. <laughs> Mine wasn't like that at all. <laughs> that was those teachers. They were uh, they were called the Sacred Team, and they were awesome. It was a lot of fun. It was crazy. <laughs> you had um, a sacred team of teachers. Uh, There's a lot. It was of two stuff. of them. It a was these two guys. Going. So. I think the public humiliation of stoning a student with paper is crazy. It was amazing. Because the, the, <laughs> like, what you're bringing out of children when you have their, like, pure joy of and it was. It was like, like a paper yeah. at someone's <laughs> face in a stockade. That's, like, crazy, <laughs> it was honestly, brutal. that they... Yeah. yeah, it was awesome. And then they had, like, different sayings. And so, like, uh, if you were talking about the Eastern or Western theater, mm -hmm. they'd go, oh, the theater. <laughs> or, yeah, so you had all that stuff. So that class was a lot of fun. Really enjoyed that. This stuff, explains a lot. I'll never forget some of this stuff. But one of my favorite classes to go to mm -hmm. was mechanical drawing. I loved mechanical drawing. Hmm. Um, at one point, I designed a house, a log cabin. Um, I designed a gr gas station, and it went to state. I, I've designed all sorts of stuff. Like, it was cool. a lot of, yeah, it was really cool. So When I got to high school, they took out our shop class, mm. and I think there was another one, but they took them out like the year before I got there. What a shame. I know. I really wanted to take them, but 
It's whatever. So uh, we, we say these things to say this, like we've been talking about memories this week, and we talked about this past Sunday about the fact that you need healing from memories, but I think that there's another part of that that we kind of hinted on a little bit last time, but it's the fact that memories can be healing as well in themselves. Mm-hmm. You know, reflecting back on some of the really funny things and cool things that we did. Listen, it's like this. Uh, my One of my best friends, Joel, mm-hmm. um, we we decided we were going to do an extra credit assignment one time in history class, same class, right? Yeah. And uh, so it was pretty wide open of what you could do. And so what we did was we got chicken wire, paper mache, mm-hmm. and we created a life-size replica of Abraham Lincoln. That's pretty crazy. He was put in a suit. Um, we put a dragon's, Dayton dragon's finger on him, foam finger number one on him. <laughs> he had a cat in a hat top hat on. We even mounted a light inside of it. And then we played music when we unveiled it. And it was on this big wood podium. All right. And so mm-hmm. it was pretty sweet. That sounds like a lot of work. It was a lot of work, but we got a lot of extra credit for it. Mm-hmm. But the part that I remember the most was when we decided to take it back home. Instead of like laying it down in the truck bed, we mm-hmm. stood it up. And so the whole way home, everybody's staring at us because there's a seven foot tall Abraham <laughs> Lincoln in the back of the truck. <laughs> I'd be too scared to do that. I wouldn't want it to fly out the back. <laughs> it was it was awesome. <laughs> That's and funny. Do you though. know how we got rid of it? How? We burned it. That's and we roasted a sight hot to dogs. See we roasted hot dogs on it on and took Abraham a video. Lincoln. And uh, yeah, Amy baby. So anyways. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, man. But, baby, baby. <laughs> nice. But that's what I'm saying. It's those memories that are so healing sometimes when you end up in a bad spot and you're trying to get through the day. It's Friday, and Fridays can go one of two ways. Mm-hmm. Okay, national holiday today. Fun at work today. Fun at work day. At April Fool's. So it could be an awesome day at work for you today, mm-hmm. or this could be the world's longest day for you. Um, and And I'm just telling you right now, like, we're, we're sharing some of our fun memories, uh, but my, my gosh, like think about the fun, funny memories that you have had in your life, and it just makes the day go by. Yeah. Um, and we would love to hear some of those stories, so if you have a story like that, share it with us. You can share it online with us uh, at movementchurch.community. You can drop us a DM, uh, whether it's on our social media or wherever it might be. Um, you can also drop it in the comments on YouTube. Uh, but, oh my gosh, we would love to hear some of your stories. Mm -hmm. Did you have a teacher like I had for U.S. history? (laughs) Your teachers sounded like they didn't really care to be working at their job either. They were so good (laughs) at their job that people, like, look at this. I am, trust me, I I got a C in the class. (laughs) And I'll yeah, never, it was my C, favorite class. And you made a life-size Abraham Lincoln replica. It was amazing. In the class. I passed the class because of that life-size Abraham Lincoln rep- replica. It was awesome. I'm just astounded that you only had two public humiliations in that class. Yeah, I, I, I turned my work in. I had to fight hard for that C. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. It just seems like, I mean, that's great. I think that really shows why, uh, you know, your teachers were like that impacted you. It was good. I'll never forget. But in fact, I still see them every they, once in a while. Uh, and I may be wrong, but perhaps their uh, fun and games outweighed maybe some educational learning that maybe you I got. It made the learning or... better because you could remember it. Mm-hmm. The only reason why I could tell you about the Eastern and Western theaters is because of the fact that every time they said that, you go, oh, the theater. Or if they'd say war, guess what you would say? Guess. Peace. No, you go, huh, what uh, is it yeah, good for? Absolutely nothing. Say it again, war. It sounds, <laughs> it, I, I just don't think that, it sounds fun. I it hope at some point, fun, but I just, I want maybe. you to experience it sometime in your life. I want to see if I can find them and it get them to come in here same. sometime it, and teach on, you U.S. History. We could have them on the show. We could, we could do that. And they could teach us some stuff. But, yeah, it was a lot of fun. They actually did Civil War reenactments, too. And so they'd come in and show us things about that. So a bunch of cool stuff. But share your memories with us. Mm -hmm. We would love to hear some of your funny stories. um, Because, dude, it's Friday. And not only is it Friday, but it's April Fool's Day. Um, This is the day. Listen, this is a good day for restaurants because they can get your orders wrong. 
And then if you're like, hey, I didn't order beans on this, be like, oh, April Fool's, just kidding. Let me go get you a replacement. Um, so it's a perfect day for them. Yep. Uh, who else is this a really good day for? I just think it's funny that it was like, ha ha, <laughs> we April Fool's, we actually did put beans on your food. <laughs> like it's not like saying we did, we actually did it. <laughs> uh, it's a good day for everybody because you get to play pranks on people. You get to play pranks. You get to I don't enjoy have the any day. In mind. Do you, uh, who do you? Do you have someone in mind that it's a good day for? I'm just saying, uh, be careful when you get back to your car. <laughs> Great. Okay. That's that's all I'm going to say to you. <laughs> be careful when you go back to your car. I w- I I should have expected this. Yep, you should have. And I, I um, didn't. I so, trusted you. Well, you should know better on April Fool's Day. Apparently. Yep. So, um, but anyways, uh, you need to go conquer the day, conquer the weekend. Don't just go and trick somebody today. You need to go and impact somebody's life. Yeah. You know what would be a really funny April Fool's joke to play on somebody? Go pay for their food at a, at a drive-thru. Hilarious. And then they'd be like, and then tell the, tell the person working there to tell them April Fool's. <laughs> oh, so that, that is funny. So like pay for there and then and you tell the person working there like at McDonald's like hey when they come up to get their food just be like uh hey uh they paid for your food. April Fools. That that's would be good. an awesome joke. You're setting it up for someone else to get. It's it's a great. That's a great. Is that good? Cuz you, like you that? both get a little bit of credit. You both get some credit and it yeah, so it's it's pretty awesome and, and it's a good turnout for the person who actually got their food paid for. Yeah, and it would be awesome if you're pulling this joke, if you've got a little movement church sticker on your back window, so they see that and go, oh, those are good good people. Yeah, that'd be really be Like, nice. ha April Fool's on you. <laughs> <laughs> but, fool some people with love today. Uh, yes, fool some people with love, because this is going to be a great weekend. You know why? Because it's April. It's going to, it's, it's springtime. New month. Hopefully the weather will start acting like it's springtime. And uh, baseball is happening. I love baseball. Uh, a lot of people in our church are involved in baseball, and so a lot of people are excited about it. And uh, we are on a countdown now to Easter. And uh, how exciting is that? It's very exciting stuff. So It is a great, that is a very good holiday. It is a great holiday. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. And so uh, we want you to share your memories with us. Let us know how it is. And uh, next week when we come back, we're going to do another food review. It's been a, been a little bit since that. And so we would love your suggestion on what that food review might be. What is it that you've been wanting to try that you haven't tried yet that you would like to get our opinion on before you do so? Because if you're anything like me, sometimes you just don't want to try something new because you just you don't know what it's going to be like. Yeah. I'll never forget when B-Dubs first came out with their new orange chicken sauce. Mm-hmm. And I didn't want to go away from my mild and uh, garlic parm sauce. I've never had it. And uh, which one? The orange chicken sauce. It's not bad, but I waited until somebody ordered it to steal one of their pieces. Yeah, test it out. Yeah. That's smart. That's so smart. if you're anything like me, you want somebody else to try it, let us know, and uh, we'll give it a shot. And we will give you our honest opinion of what it is and what it tastes Brutally like. Brutally honest. Yes, yes, and make sure that you join us this Sunday as we continue on in our uh, in our healing sermon series right now with Thin Spaces, and uh, we're going to be talking about physical healing, mm-hmm. and uh, man, I'm so excited to see how God continues to move in and throughout the church, and uh, we can't wait to be with you again, whether you're online right here in person or joining us Monday morning with the morning shift. Uh, oh, oh no. just kidding. The Wednesday uh, momentum. The Wednesday momentum. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, you're like We're jokesters. really good at this stuff. Jokesters, I mm-hmm. know. I so. can't. They, they're probably like, there's no way he pulled those pranks in high school if this is what he's doing now. <laughs> Lame. Yeah. Anyways, we can't wait to see you go conquer the weekend. You're going to do huge things today. Your shirt is pretty. Oh. Yeah, you like that? Pretty. It's pretty. Looks good. So you look pretty, dynamite today. Pretty. April Fool's. Hey. <laughs> no, 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 you look good. You, yeah, you look good today. So go conquer the day. Have fun. Uh, remember, it's fun at work day. And if your boss is a jerk, just let them know, hey. You're fired. You're Tell fired. You, yeah. You're fired, boss. April Fool's. April Fool's, yes. And uh, hopefully they don't fire you. So. You can always tell them that we told you to. Yes. 
Yes, absolutely. So we can't wait to see you guys here really soon. Have a great day. Have a great weekend. Go impact somebody's life. Conquer the day. And use this momentum to catapult you into what it is that the Lord's got for you. And we can't wait to see you. Yes. Awesome. See ya. See you later. Bye. Hey, what's up? I'm Richie. I'm the lead pastor here at Movement Church, Tip City, Ohio. I'm Ethan. I'm the media director at Movement Church as well. Yeah, and we are so thankful that you joined us today uh, for this podcast and this online video. But check this out. This is all made possible through your generosity. Yeah, and if you want to continue supporting, you can go to movementchurch.community and find more stuff there. And if you to make sure to follow us on social media, that's Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Yeah, and when you go there, you need to make sure that you hit that subscribe button and then go over that notifications bell, click that, and you'll be notified when content is available. Thank you so much for joining us today, and God bless.